Social distancing was impossible for commuters on some of Adelaide's train lines this morning. Old diesel engines are to blame, with a mechanical fault pulling two-thirds of the government fleet out of action. What we're talking about here is a defective part, uh, one that we're now going to go and inspect and replace on these 50 units. That means commuters on the Gawler, Bel Air and Outer Harbour lines will be stuck with half-hour services, while buses will replace trains on the Grange line until the problems are fixed. I'm not so keen on the lack of frequency of trains, but I, I understand if there is a safety issue with some of the train carriages, safety must come first. But dealing with one safety issue has posed another. You know, people are touching stuff, they're touching handles, um, you know, sitting on the chairs could be, could be quite, um, you know, dangerous for the society. But they were cramming on to smaller trains and quite frankly, that caused a lot of grief and a lot of anxiety today for commuters and that's unacceptable. It's not yet known when normal services will resume. There are not enough replacement parts in South Australia to fix all 50 trains. Early next week we are still going to have to operate uh, on a shortened timetable uh, with less services operating. There are no plans to retire the diesel engines despite a $615 million electrification project underway for the Gawler line. With complete refurbishment and refits of them, uh, that work has been undertaken, continues to be undertaken, uh, with an idea that their life can be stretched out uh, towards 2030. A long wait for the next train. Dana Morse, ABC News, Adelaide.